Hello students, today we're going to do a quick warm up practicing um, mixing a gradient that's incremental. So choose um, two colors that are next to each other on the color wheel, like green and yellow or blue and green. Draw a two by four inch box in your sketchbook. And what I'm going to do is divide each inch. So most of the blending will be done on your palette. Never mix on your paper. Okay, so four sections. <clears throat> I'm going to be using um, a flat brush. And I'll begin with a primary color, which is blue. So I will just apply <clears throat> the straight blue on here. Part of this lesson is to try and be neat and accurate with your sections. Paint within the lines. So I started with a damp brush, but I have not added any additional water because this acrylic paint is going on a little bit thin. You can always add a tiny hint of white to thicken it up, but do a second coat. To increase the opacity. You can let it dry for just a couple minutes and then apply another coat to it to make it have a more even, solid, opaque application. Try not to have any heavy streaks in the paint. Try and put it on very even. So I'm gonna let that dry. I might apply a second coat. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little bit of this blue over here. Take a little bit of green. So it's gonna be about 50-50 here to make a blue-green. Make sure that you blend up enough So it's like blue with a hint of green in it. You can do this with any set of colors you like. It'll help you guys see the color difference. A little bit of an aquamarine color. It's a little bit difficult to see on the camera, so I will upload a photo image of this so that you can see what it looks like as a reference. Okay, let that dry. So I'm gonna add a little bit more green into this. I might get out a little bit of yellow, really pull that green through. It's a very foresty green. 
almost like a phalo green. Just like the just a little bit more blue. Okay, so next, what I'm going to do to this green is I'm just going to borrow just a tiny bit of it because it's very potent pigment. Take a little bit of yellow and really try and lighten up that green a little bit. And we could keep going with this scale all the way to yellow. You would just consecutively or keep adding more yellow to the green until it became a yellow green and then a yellow all right this is an analogous gradient of just four colors. I will upload a photo image of it so you can see what it looks like off the camera because the camera does distort the colors just a little bit. Um, thank you so much.